Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, and we're getting back to the class trial. I am really, really sorry I have not been able to um, do any recordings or streams in the past week or two. Um, my fever, which I thought well, I was recovering from, was actually the flu. And then I got pneumonia on top of that, and so... Christmas kind of sucked, but uh, I also made it worse for everyone around me because I managed to give my flu to, you know, 10 other people who then spread it across a bunch of other people, and the end result is everyone on New Year's was with the death flu, and I was still recovering, and I got pneumonia <laughs> on top of it. So I'm really sorry that I missed... Um, doing videos. I'm actually, I'm still stuffy, but I can actually do voices and talk and get out of bed. So enough about that. Back to the video. I just wanted to explain why I haven't, I haven't been recording in case you didn't see my Twitter. All right. Closing argument. Um... So I actually, I actually tried recording this like uh, the day that I was starting to get really sick, and uh, what ended up happening was I I recorded this entire closing argument here, like not the part where it actually started talking and and doing it, but I uh, Jesus, where, where was it? Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 after my, what weapon did we take out? Electro bomb? Yeah, okay. So I, I actually, I actually, uh, did record this segment, but once I finished recording, I realized I hadn't spoken a single word the entire time, and I realized I was feeling pretty bad. And I was like, that's not a good sign. If, if I can't even make myself talk, then I, I probably am not well enough to be recording. Not that I ever really, uh, I don't usually even in talk <laughs> during this segment and, and whatever, but I knew that it wasn't a good case. side. <laughs> Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosil hangar. <laughs> when she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. I'm really glad that Himiko has survived. Um, I think that the, the characters that I thought were going to live and die are very different from what actually happened. But I'm really glad that she ended up surviving because um, so many characters I wanted to live are, are no longer here. <laughs> that someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. Disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. I figured this one out too. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. This she was pretty an obvious though. To disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, 
The culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. He wasn't lying. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. I, I don't think he's a remnant of despair either. To keep Maki from becoming the Black Imp, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. The strike line poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. And, and the other reason why I think that, like, Kokichi has, like, some some other angle that I'm not getting that Shuichi and I are both not completely seeing, maybe even Kaito doesn't even realize it, is that Kokichi has not failed to succeed at anything he's tried to do. So I feel that whatever he has set up here is going to pay off in the next chapter. Like, he did something... Here that is going to turn around and, and cause a victory for us. I, I truly do believe that. I, I, I'm still mad at him for everything that happened with Gonta, and I know everyone has told me repeatedly that it was Gonta's decision and, and like it's not Kokichi's fault. I don't care. I'm still mad. <laughs> I'm still mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that. <laughs> oh, I'm so frustrated. Whatever. Kokichi's willing to take the blame that I have on Gonta. I believe that Kokichi will accept it. <laughs> uh. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. This was pretty clever, though. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. 
She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb, capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb <coughs> to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. <coughs> that was why he commissioned Miu to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. So another thing that I, I thought about while I was um, laid up was, I, I guess when Gonto was mentioning about like how he kept seeing little bugs, that that those little bugs are like, maybe they're like recording devices or something like cameras, like tiny, tiny bug cameras or something. And that's what the electrobomb was designed to, to, to actually stop. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. This was pretty ingenious. <coughs> the two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. Dang, Kokichi. Man. I really do feel that Kokichi was actually trying to do something with Gonta. I don't I don't quite understand what he was doing with Gonta. I I don't think he he really wanted Gonta to die. I feel like that was an unfortunate result of something he was trying to do. Um <sighs> Dang. 
dang, though. Really paid for it. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. He did that with his bare hands. There was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. The, why, why was I helping Monokuma solve this, by the way? I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, <coughs> the deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Is Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, it's right. No, my detective work was flawless. It's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exile. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Because he wants to fight Monokuma! Is this about Monokuma? Or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? No, but... You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaido is dead. Not just possible. It's the actual truth. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? Monokuma makes a mistake, you won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing. Ruin? I see, so that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself. That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. What does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? would be the point. Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? So 
sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Shuichi Sahara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. What? What is going on? All right, let's pin this down. Uh, who is inside that exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I trust Shuichi! Kaito's trying to ruin the game. That's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So, to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything that we've determined up to now. What if I turned it all on its head? Yes, I need to lie. All right, let's pin this down. Okay. I only feel the truth. <laughs> We're doing this? Why? Kukuchi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean? Lie. Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is. I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I saw Kokichi. <gasps> you saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry. The only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Oh. Don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming, but as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? It's over. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. <clears throat> I thought so. K Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything, but before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. 
I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Yeah, I know you did. I don't know. Just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started. <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Sorry, man. <clears throat> I know you did it, though. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. I'm sure that there's going to be at least one vote for Kokichi. No? Even Maki voted correctly. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? It's gonna confess that I guess even morons can't screw this up. Absolutely right! The blacken who killed Kokichi Oma is Kaito Momota. You got it all right! Hmm. <laughs> so you got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Maki roll voted for me. <laughs> what a relief! Well, I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know. But man, it was hard to act like Kokichi the whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script. He wrote the whole thing. Ah, oh, dang. Even in this, even while dying, he's like, let me pen you this awesome script. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <clears throat> but even so, I still had to ad lib. You guys couldn't tell, though, huh? Come on. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why? Hmm? Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game, so why did you kill him? I believe you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki, was she protecting Kaito? Or just believing in him like me? That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it's just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind! Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it. But you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. With this remote control, I had Mew make it. The mysterious message in the courtyard, using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? <laughs> what the hell? Why'd you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind... Shit! ...was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it? Yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. Instead, this happened. 
I'm going to die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Why? Because oh, the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. I need a move without us noticing. Yeah, thanks to that, everything is ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it? So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maki's actions too? They probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But if that can't be, the reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Could it be? Maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights. So we would target Kukichi as a remnant of despair? Which means... So the flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kukichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair? Okay. Kukichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair? We're all students of Hope's Peak Academy, and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. Never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyway, like I was saying... You know... Then who is the true mastermind? Hmm. Who knows? I don't know either. But... But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless. Unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. I'm on the verge of losing. <laughs> My plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it. But is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you. <laughs> to kill me. What? What? I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown and then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were blackened, then I'd show myself and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But that's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he was messed up on who the Blacken was? And this is what he said. Well, you know, even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler about the rules. There'd be no point in making this a game in the first place. But... But Monokuma's been a stickler about the rules, and about making the game interesting. <clears throat> That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubts that this death game is being shown to someone. <laughs> What did you say? So, is this some kind of show? But, but who would be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. The flashback light is the reason we even remember that. Ah. But Kokichi might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this class trial, there's no doubt. Listen up. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of this game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong. Why he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just like Kokichi said, if this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A death game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Hey. What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> who can say? Yeah, why won't you tell us? 
We were friends during the trial. You guys. Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Well. Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well then. Then here's another question. Who are you really? If Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind, then who's the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? Ahem. I'm not going to spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. Uh, Why you? You're just too cute. What? Huh? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyway. Ah. It was kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? Jeez. Jeez. I wonder how far ahead he planned his evil this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you. Don't screw around. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the blackened, and her crime would be exposed so easily. If that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? That's playing dirty! So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no deaths I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Admittedly, there was only... There was... Two people were definitely going to die here. And... Kokichi had the power to decide... With that, with that antidote, he had the power to decide who was, who, who was going to die. And he chose the option that, <clears throat> that both Kaito and him would have wanted. Anyway, this is our chance. A chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing game. That's why you have to kill me. So we can win and ruin this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. Oh, ah, oh crap. I'm gonna die soon. Can we get this started in it already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know. And he blackmailed you by using me? Ah. No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. I didn't have any other choice. Because... I'm out of time. Yeah, that's another thing. He knew that he was going to die anyways. <clears throat> so, he, he probably agreed because he thought Maki should live longer. What? Tom, could it be... I don't need your health. What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. My bad. My bad. That was a lie. Huh? A, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, it can't be. But you know. But I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. In my memories. I was fine during the medical exam for my training. I was fine during the medical exam for that pain. Could it be? This must be a virus. What? A virus? If I remember correctly, one of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by the meteorite that spread across the globe. Hope's Peak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be? This must have something to do with the virus. 
Kaito didn't use the flashback light, so he might not remember but... it. But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't. Well... Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the Gopher Project. To tell you the truth, you could have been infected this whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. What did you say? Bullet? <sighs> Kaito is infected with the virus. How could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed. Huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know... But you know, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so... Kokichi left me the whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Shoichi'd see it right through in the end. Huh? Well done! <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shoichi. You're really something. I, I feel like even Kokichi knew that he would have figured it out, though. Well then, Kaito, did you? That's right. Yeah, I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed up, even if I messed stuff up in, during the trial, I knew Shuichi'd see the truth. That's my sidekick. Just what I'd expect from my sidekick. Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then? If you knew it was pointless from the start, you shouldn't have gone that far. Nah. nah, it wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? Why? I mean... Because of this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind, yeah. we got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Behind this truth, there's got to be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? The real truth? Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. But... You talk as if he was your partner, when you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. <laughs> hey! It's getting harder to breathe, so please, can you... Hey, so... Hey, can I ask one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. <sighs> that was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? Shit. I did think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little... <sighs> bastards who create this game to toy with our lives and the shit's enjoying it. Y'all piss me off. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Huh? Kokichi said that? Nah. That could have been a lie, too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. No, I honestly believe that... <laughs> I honestly believe that when... When Maki had shot him with <laughs> the arrow, he was like, well... I'm done playing this. Let's let's start reeling out all the truths. So I, I feel like he was honest from that point forward. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! You know, it's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. What? Uh, when he's dying, he might be. <laughs> I heard the truth. Even at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. But maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of the lie. <sighs> that pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally, <laughs> I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? Me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong. Hey, 
No, Kaito, that's not true. Hey! I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. When you made me your sidekick, you said that you'd take the responsibility. And that... that's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now I'd be... Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can I be okay? I'm about to die. Okay. You sure are, Bucko! Cause it's punishment time! Uh. Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. He's going to die anyways. This is probably going to be the easiest punishment game for me, knowing that he's already gonna die anyways. Unless it's super graphic, and then never mind. Uh oh, uh -oh. You're planning to get in my way. You know what'll happen if you do that, don't you? So what? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyways from the start. Indeed. Yes. I've been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it out. No. Stop. Kaito. No, Kaito, I can't. I can't let you die, Kaito. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. How irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice. What is he getting at here? If we could recycle life, the whole world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey! What are you talking hey. about? Oh. Alright, kids. Time for your grand re-entrance. Rise and shine, your sign. With our powers combined, we are the Mario Cast. Huh? I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell it or say it, it's still Monotaro. What's that? That's totally a lie. By the way, what the hell's going on? I could have swore there were more of these chumps before. Hell yeah! Fuck if I know. Let's destroy Monodam now. This sad sack's bumming me the fuck out. What did you say? But what the? Weren't all the Monocubs completely destroyed? They're robots. Those old monocubs were destroyed. These monocubs are the latest model. They still got their factory settings, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. Thank you so much! But who cares? Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. What was that? You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys. You guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the Monocubs, but finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. So the world isn't empty. I got no idea what that... I got no idea what's going on or what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! We're so fucking lovable and shit, except Monotam, of course. Hey, hey! Oh, do you know what else this means? Now that the monocubs are back, I've got my exile entourage protecting me again. Still want to defy me now? Mm -hmm. This is bad. If he's got the exiles again, shut up. So what? I won't let you kill him. Doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaito. I'll fight until the end. <sighs> S stop. Even if you fight the exiles, you'll just get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last extra bomb were crushed in the press. No. No, I won't give up. Yeah. Maki roll, no. enough already. I... I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. Huh? And I've never, 
been given a man like Machiavel before either. What? You! I... And I've never... met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and... I've never... fallen for someone before. What? Maki roll! Maki, no! I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you kill him. That's why I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki roll. I'm sorry. That's not an option. I don't have as much time left as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. I... Hey, so... Hey, Maki roll. I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before, you hated yourself so much. You didn't even like yourself a little. Wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? And that was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore now, huh? You're all right now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is gonna be sadder than I thought it was. Come on. <laughs> Don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. Alright, Kaito. I won't cry. I'll endure it. Oh man, you're already crying. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll endure it. I. I can't cry, even if I wanted to. <sighs> Hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do. Dong, dong, dong. Oh boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Right. But let me just say this. Well, let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. Ready. You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you. <sighs> That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. In this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. I'll end it. So please don't worry. Shuichi! And Shuichi, never forget, you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito, okay. The impossible is possible. Don't forget, the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Oh, you have an adorable crying face. Maki roll. Maki roll. How long are you gonna cry? You should smile. Sorry, I can't. It's impossible. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> All right. All right then. Let's end this with a bang. Luminary of the stars. A special punishment suited to the luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. You don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Get ready. Oh yeah, well screw you. I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment time. Oh, is it? Is it like the blast off sucking ignition? It's like the first Dungarumpa. Except not.
happened? Did like Kibo's antenna get bumped off? Kaito. Right? Kibo, are you okay? You got hit by that debris when you protect. Well. I'm fine. More importantly. Hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaito won? Eh? Eh? What do you mean, Kaito won? He died on his own terms. Because. He died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay! That's right! Kaito wasn't killed by you! Yeah! It's Kaito's victory! <laughs> so. Is one of the survivors right now the true mastermind, or is it someone else? I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah! Hell yeah, no shit! Hey. Ain't it written in the school regulations? That's right! The killing game won't go on until there's just one black and or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want the rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well... I just want an entertaining killing game. I mean, you're certainly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito. I will end this killing game. That's it. And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear I will kill my promise. You're right. I swear I will keep my promise. <clears throat> yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else die. <laughs> Who's even gonna play the killing game anymore? It's already over. Hmm. Hmm. You could cut the tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually. Feels like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops! Yo, Pops, fill us in. We want to help you out. <gasps> oh, Monosuke is acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. They're so cute. Oh, I can't kill myself around you cute little cobs. <laughs> Gather around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. <gasps> a whole month? Will that take longer than a whole chapter? I'll tell you all about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long, farewell! Hmm? Huh? Why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you a reward for working so hard. You don't want it. Just go away. You're really me. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that the killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. No way, now I this game is gonna keep going and going for a long time. During his ranting, Monokuma took out Huh? Huh? A flashback light? What? What? What did you just do? What? Is that a flashback light just Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. <gasps> and hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> the killing game will never end. So these flashback lights are, are trying to make us kill. What's going on with Kibo, though? Then Monokuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared there is no hope. After all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. Not just Kaito, Kokichi too. 
Someone we all trusted, and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing, because we're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. Junko? The killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let in something this fun? <clears throat> Why would I ever let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. It's just simply, it's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> Such despair. Later that night, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard, a place where Kaito and I would train together. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still, I... I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Oh! Ah, uh, Maki. Hey. So, you came to... Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey! Are you lonely now that Kaito is gone? Uh, okay. Yeah, lonely. I... I feel so lonely, so sad, I... I don't know what to do. The reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad. I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah, I would tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I'm going to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation, too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Huh? Oh, see you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Jeez. I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Oh. So we can you. Um, um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'll train with you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaito. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to do what it... <clears throat> Yeah, we're going to do what we promised to work together to end this killing game. All right! We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. I just said it best. I'm not alone. That's right, I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope, too. That's why I'm gonna live. Where's Kibo? I wanna live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body, and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train, too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota. 
luminary of the stars. <laughs> hey, no fair, Kaito. doing <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any trading oh she's got a cute smile but, but the rest of us are here kind of wish she'd come too it's quiet too quiet and yet this silence is quite refreshing I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. Was that antenna telling him to do stuff? All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. Kibo, what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry? And what? I will destroy it. Um... 